After a four-year absence, Shawn Michaels made an unprecedented return at SummerSlam to defeat Triple H. But the Heartbreak Kid's celebration was cut short by the vengeful Cerebral Assassin. The showstopper was forced to take time off due to injuries sustained from Triple H's heinous attack. But despite a humiliating loss, Triple H would soon have reason to celebrate. WWE Undisputed Champion Brock Lesnar elected to exclusively defend his title on SmackDown, leaving Raw without a champion. As a result, the World Heavyweight Championship was reinstated on Raw and awarded to none other than the King of Kings, Triple H. With the gold securely around his waist and HBK on the sidelines, Triple H ruled Raw as he saw fit. That is, until word of an unprecedented event that would take place at Survivor Series. And a strong message from an old friend. Let me prove to you just how far I've come. See, the fact of the matter is, HBK is coming back. And somewhere down the line, HBK is going to get shot. Seemingly with a smile on his face, this match is right up his alley. Seemingly smiling, I can see the gap between his teeth. This match is personal. It's not about titles here tonight. It's all about Kane getting some retribution from a morbidly disgusting human being. And why exactly is Triple H morbidly disgusting? Because of the disgusting, salacious videotape that he aired last week on this broadcast. week, right here on Raw, Kane and his tag team partner Rob Van Dam beat Triple H and Ric Flair, following an RVD five-star frog splash onto the Nature Boy. But the real story came after the match when Kane locked Triple H in the trunk of his car and drove off. <gasps> Luckily for the game, he was able to eventually break free. I can only imagine what would have happened if Triple H had remained locked in that trunk. And he gets out of the way. Would you look at this? You know, there's never been any quitting Triple H, and it's not going to happen here tonight. Kane showing some expert prowess here. Triple H going for it. He was one step ahead on that one. Oh, the punch connects. Kane, like him or not, you have to admit that since arriving here in WWE in 1997, Kane has cemented himself as one of the most imposing figures this company has ever seen. Well, I certainly can't deny that, Cole. His resume really speaks for itself. A former WWE champion, seven-time World Tag Team champion, two-time Intercontinental champion, hardcore champion. I mean, let's face it, Kane's done it all. Oh, his spine bending and cracking from that backbreaker. This is the first casket match on Monday Night Raw since 1999. How great is this, Cole? May 17th, 1999. Undertaker defeated The Rock in a rare Kane delivering crippling punishment. Uh-oh, look at that. Oh, and Kane looking to put Triple 
pass away. Oh. Triple H though goes down low. And now Triple H looking for the pedigree. Oh, yeah. And he got it. Pedigree by Triple H. That casket is open. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at this. Who is in the casket? Shawn Michaels is in the casket. Heartbreak Kid was in the casket. HBK comes out of the casket to become Triple H's worst nightmare. Kevin Look at this. We haven't seen Shawn Michaels since SummerSlam. Oh, he's back. Michaels is feeling it. Oh, look at this. Tune it up the band. Yeah. Oh, sweet chin music. The Heartbreak Kid, center stage. The showstopper to stop the show for Triple H. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. This might be big. A choke slam, crashing to the floor. Keep your eye on this one. Earlier tonight, we saw Triple H telling whoever he was talking to on the other end of the phone to hurry to the arena. Who do you think the game could have been talking to, King? Well, my best guess is woo, Ric Flair. Where you see Triple H, the Nature Boy is sure to follow. What a backdrop. And Triple H with a reversal. And that's because the game has a gift for getting out of trouble, Cole. Oh, Cole, look at that. Now that's how you hurt an opponent. You have to respect the confidence and poise Triple H is showing. I don't know what Katie Vick ever saw in Kane. He must have had a cool car or something. That's the only reason she'd ever go out with him. Are you kidding me, King? We're watching two of the six men that will be in the Elimination Chamber at Survivor Series, and you're talking about Kane's car? Well, the Elimination Chamber is going to be something else. I had a chance to see the blueprint. It's absolutely unreal. Triple H cannot beat Kane in a fair fight. There's no way in hell the game can beat Kane in a fair fight. Well, this is a fair fight, isn't it? And he's not beating him either, is he? King, Kane's brother, The Undertaker, undoubtedly has to be considered the master of the casket match. Yeah, and you'd have to wonder if any of Undertaker's mastery has rubbed off on Kane. I mean, over the years, we've seen Undertaker bury the absolute best in this type of match. Yokozuna, Kamala, The Rock, they all fell victim to The Undertaker in casket matches. And let's not forget Triple H's opponent here tonight. Undertaker, huge spinebuster connects. That'll rearrange your organs a bit. Oh, look at the game. He's ready to end this thing now. That's it. He's out. And now look at this. Into the casket. He's almost got him. Trying to save himself. And now back to his feet. Uh oh trying to put him away. Oh, Kane wants to take Triple H's head off, and the game knows he's capable of it. That's what's so scary. Triple H knows what kind of man Kane is. Triple H needs to stay away. Kane scores with a trem... This match is not over. And oh, Kane gonna look. take advantage. Oh, Kane he's wins. Wrong. He's wrong, Triple H. Into Kane the casket. Wins. The casket is closed. And Kane has won this match. Oh, my God. The Big Red Monster, victorious, with an assist from that man, Shawn Michaels. <laughs> Triple H is going to rue the day that he assaulted Shawn Michaels in the sledgehammer back at SummerSlam. Well, the game should have known it was coming. Shawn Michaels warned him. Someday, sometime, someplace, he would get even. Tonight was the night. And look at this. Shawn Michaels dancing on top of the casket that holds the body of Triple H. How symbolic.